Hey everybody! Wow, look, we're we're back. Been a while. Woo. That'll let me know. Okay, so when we left off, we had uh, killed the first the first mark, and kind of were dumped off here beside this rubbish bin. Peering over the edge of the skip, you see an assortment of other people's rubbish. Most of it seems to be brightly colored fast food cartons. So uh, we literally just kind of came out here. And our, our goal is going to be to go back to our apartment from this point. Hope everybody's doing good. Been a long time since I've made any type of recording. But we are back here. Tell you one thing this game does right is the music. The music is absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, our number. I think it's 5106. I think. Alright. <clears throat> oh. Do we have something flashing on our screen here? Okay, so no, it's just kind of doing its thing. Okay, so, <clears throat> let's see, where's our keyboard? Ooh, a pin? I want it. Give me, give me the pin. Or, or don't, okay. Use the network monitor. Let's get our DOS prompt going. Okay, so we need to log on. I love how this is what they thought the future was going to be. Alright, then we got Black Dragon. All one word. Alright, let's just see what we got. got an insurance call. Hold on, I am so sorry folks. First time I start playing in forever and immediately get some weird call. Okay, sorry about that. Ooh, hello, kitty. Okay, then we need list the news net. Okay, let's look at the crime wave first. Oh, that's right. You gotta actually put. Okay. It's an opinion thing, okay. The city is in the grip of a major crime wave. Events of the last few months have escalated. 78 people have lost their lives. Wow. The murder of rock star David Crane in the last few hours has shocked the city. Police has ever repeated that everything is under control, but we must ask ourselves, is it time we took the law in our own hands? We want TV special. Oh, 
the reed. Alright. Set to appear on the political program. Alright, he says, Channel 6 Studios, I think I know where that is. Well known for strong views and following recent worrying problems in the Middle East. So that's kind of what we had to get out of this. So we know where to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love our little grotty little bathroom or kitchen here. It's definitely not a bathroom. gonna head to channel six so I want to say that first mission there's actually some thinking involved and whatnot at this point the game starts losing a little bit of its cleverness and becomes kill and shoot and do what you gotta do channel six studios is based in a large warehouse building a large contingent of army personnel have been assigned to protect the general and their vehicles stand in front of the main entrance. Well, hi there. The soldier is dressed in camouflage with leather boots halfway up his shins and a large machine gun gripped firmly in his hands. He looks as if he's been gritting his teeth like this for hours. He looks around nervously as I watch. Hmm. Well, what you got to say, buddy boy? The soldier looks straight at me and ignores me. Can I go inside? I have an appointment. Nope. Nobody's allowed in or out. Security regulation. But I have an important appointment. You heard me. Now, please leave. Right. I get the message. Yeah. Not getting in that way. But, as you can see, there is an alternative route. Gonna go this way. Ooh, lettering. Well, tell us what this is. Painted into the tarmac is a rapidly fading logo that provides information about parking. The lettering indicates that this is Channel 6 and the parking is somewhere along this narrow street. Hi there. Behind a thick piece of glass is an old man with wispy gray hair and bald at the top. He has a blue uniform on with gold rings on the cuffs and lapels. He leans on the counter as if he's waiting for someone. How can I help you, young man? Uh, I've got an appointment. Look. The military have closed us down for the day. No one has an appointment. But I do. But you must have made a mistake. I can take your name and book you in for tomorrow if you like. You sound like the protagonist. Why is the TV station shut down. Can it go military like this? Military General Sterling has a special live TV interview this afternoon about the Middle East. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Goodbye, sir. Even though we don't have the same voice, but we probably do. So, here's the solution for this. Are, are you ready? Are you ready for this solution? Here we go. <laughs> there we go. We did it. That's the solution. Yep. <laughs> there we go. We did it. <laughs> Isn't that a great puzzle? He shot him in the head. 
That's what you do. They were already starting to run out of money at this point, unfortunately, I believe was what the issue was. The slim document has a Channel 6 Studios logo on the front. Underneath it says, forthcoming programs. Clicking through the brochure, you find that it is a long list of news-related programs that Channel 6 has planned. So nothing really that exciting. Metal ladder with widely spaced rungs leads up to a hole in the ceiling. The ladder is fixed securely to the wall. You climb the ladder, looking upwards as you go. Well, looky here. It's a winch control. The winch controls have, a, have soot around the edge of the small panel in the front. The lights on the top are all off. There's a blown fuse right there. Okay, so obviously we cannot do this yet. So we do get a little bit of a puzzle if I can remember how to get back down. One of the things that I could have done, but I chose not to, just kind of because you're not supposed to know, to do it yet. Yeah, you can pick the brochure up, and under it, huh, this looks like some sort of electronic passkey. It is slightly thicker than a cash card, and it has the details of a cleaning company employee on it. We want to take that. Okay. Let's see, we're going to leave it this way. <clears throat> so we can use that pass card. So there's a door lock here. use it. Well, I keep forgetting this thing can be complicated. There we go. Inventory is a little bit, you know, questionable sometimes in this game, but still a, a good game. So, let's see, let's see, we got a worktop, a fuse box. So, we can't really get in it. You quickly undo the two screws holding on the front plate. When you finish, the plate drops down. Let's see here. Now I need to be able to get in the fuse box. There it is. Okay. We don't need that that one anymore, so we're good there. Now we can go ahead and kill this guy off. I mean, like it, it's not a bad little puzzle you know I mean if you don't this game where everything is very small and you have to use that little magnifying thing to really see it you might not find that fuse ok 
Okay, now. That guy is very dead. I like how she's kind of just like, eh. So that's two down. The keeper of the dream web stands before me with his head bowed and his hands clasped together in front of him. His robe hangs heavily from him and I can barely make out a face beneath the hood. All right, Mr. Keeper. You have done well, Ryan. Sterling's power has been absorbed by the web, but the remaining five are aware of your presence. They will try and stop you. Now they have a leader. What is his name? His name is Sartain. He is a wealthy and influential businessman. How will I find him? We feel that he is close to someone you know well. This may provide a path to him. Hmm. Must I release Sterling's power from the dream web? Yes, Ryan. On your path through the dream web, you will find a crystal. The crystal has a power that will protect you. Do not leave the dream web without it. Now make haste. Okay. So when we're leaving, we got to pick something up. It's actually not quite that hard. You'd think, oh no, is there like a puzzle involved in finding it? It is literally right there. Put that right in the inventory. Once again, with this game too, it's like, there's even like Dark Sea 2 that we're playing, it's like, these people are could possibly be like, imagining all this in a way, but it's like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> the homeless man's gone. We do want one of these bottles. Go ahead and drop the brochure. Let someone see about all the fun things going to be on the news. <laughs> they, the homeless people might want to know. Okay, well they said that, you know, maybe somebody we know. So. This is really the only place I can really think that that's what they would want. Let's get through this door. Oh, it just opens if I walk towards it. Uh, well, um...
Is there a keypad I'm missing? Yep. There we go. There we go. So these buttons are hard to find. Now, one of the things that could have been kind of cool, and I feel like once again the, where the money ran out, she's gone, and we don't see her again. Eth see, Eden's pocket organizer lays on the bed. It has a compact keyboard above which is a small plasma screen. Small LED blinks on and off at the top. How? Ha ha ha! I get it. Okay. okay. We're looking for, since we're supposed to be someone we know, we're looking for Sartain. Here we go. Here it is. Sartain's address is in the northeast of the city. I think I know whereabouts. So you'd think we'd be going right there, but we're not. I actually think, hold on, let me make sure I have it. Yeah, so, see we have this client information for Sartain Industries. We need that to go back to our place. I don't know about anybody else. I haven't been home a lot, and I got ransacked by fruit fly things, and I had to go get a thing for it. It's like they are everywhere. There wasn't even anything really here to get attacked by, but by goodness, you sure did. I've had it, never had it this bad before. I think it's just where this apartment, where it's a little damp downstairs. Alrighty, head back to our place. And yes, you still have to keep using the keypad. So we have the 5106. Did finally figure out why my computer had so much memory missing, like for doing stuff. Man, it's in great shape now. I was worried. I was like, this computer's not that old. I guess actually it is getting a little old now. I guess it's three years old, but um, still, it should be working fine. Okay, I want to take this out and this in and then network. All right. So let's log ourselves in. Yeah, I put log in and it's log on. Uh -huh. And of course, Black Dragon. And then we're going to do a list. So we have cartridge. Since we put that one in. Yeah. 
meeting and code. Let's look at meeting, just because we can. Oh, 14th at 9, discussion of new product lines, a promotional idea for launch. Let's see if we can just read code from here. Seven eight three three. All right, that's what we needed. Had to have that code. I don't know why I keep going to the kitchen. I just really like to look at it, I guess. I just want to leave. I just love the, the Coke can in the floor. Okay, and we're going to use this. Okay. I'll do this, I didn't do it. Sartain Industries sits among the grim buildings that have suffered at the hands of pollution. The building itself seems different to all those around it. It seems even more imposing. All right, so we have the keypad here. So, fun thing about this too, we start like like I said, the puzzles start getting less uh, good. Please enter handprint. You press your palm on the space indicated on the side of the screen, but the computer refuses you access. So, how we deal with this is much how we deal with that security guard. Yeah, there we did. <laughs> That's how you deal with it. See, the elevator now works. Sort of. All right. So we've got to work fast again. Hold the crystal firmly and raise your arms. Boom! That guy's arm is there. <laughs> uh, well, kiddos, on that front, we'll come back in the next episode. This has been Chris from the Gaming Corner, and as always, I hope you've enjoyed. Those guys are dead. Here we go. Bye.